Hi, in this playlist we're going to be looking at something called Venn Diagrams and if you follow the link below in this particular video you'll be able to download this worksheet to have a go at these yourself. Uh, they start off fairly straightforward and I'm going to do the first three in this video and then they get a little bit more complex from there on in. So what we're looking at probably is uh, relatively um, straightforward one mark type questions. Now this particular one, the first one says given that the probability of A equals 0.9 find the probability of not A. Well in that particular case we're basically saying that at 90% of the time it's going to be a value of A when it's not A it's going to be 10% of the time or to put that as a decimal we would write that as 0.1. Okay, let's have a look at question number two. It says, shade the region that's, uh, that represents probability of brackets A, and that little symbol there means and B. Okay, so A and B. Now sometimes you might hear it, the word as um, intersection. Okay, I happen to remember it as and, because in my mind that looks like a, a N. D. Okay, it sort of reminds me of and. Okay, well the reason it represents the probability of A and B is going to be this central region here. Okay. So then on to question number three and it says shade the region that represents the probability of A union B. So again this word here is union and basically it means everything. Okay, everything that's represented. Let's say this is apples and bananas. So the people who like apples and bananas is going to be represented by this whole region here so we can shade in all of that. Now these are really core principles that you need to remember when you're working with Venn diagrams. Uh, if you have a look at the video um, in next in the playlist that will just take this a little bit further on. Please do add a comment to the site. Um, I'll always come back to you, subscribe and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.